for uh, Pakal Dostola intro. So good morning. Uh, today I'll be presenting Dubai Insights, which we've gathered over the last uh, couple of quarters, uh, which gives some trends on insights uh, of people visiting Dubai from uh, outbound markets. Okay. Oops. Hang on. What's going on here? Cool, so I'm gonna start with some search and booking trends for uh, flights uh, week on week uh, for people coming into Dubai. Uh, here we can see uh, both search and bookings rising from the start of April, uh, peaking in mid-June uh, before a drop off. Uh, looking at the data, we believe the drop off was around Eid when uh, Dubai was still close to a lot of regional markets. So uh, people could have been holidaying in other, in other places. But we did see uh, a very big increase uh, in searches and bookings really in April. And I'll get onto that in the next slide. Uh, but we've seen since then search and bookings have tapered off a little bit uh, from that spark in August. But by uh, late August, they had picked up to around 11% week on week with bookings. Uh, so the main story here is that both search and uh, bookings are positive uh, for Dubai uh, from August onwards, uh, which is a really positive sign as we go into to peak travel period uh, in Dubai in Q1 and Q4, uh, when obviously the weather is a lot better and more enticing for international visitors. Uh, and also we've got uh, Expo uh, kicking off uh, in a week's time. So all positive signs going into Expo. Uh, looking at the next slide, so kind of just uh, the search and booking trends for flights uh, week on week uh, from the UK and India markets. Uh, so referring to the previous slide, uh, as we saw a big jump in August for inbound visitation into Dubai, uh, two of the main reasons for that was the re restrictions being lifted uh, on travel, not fully, but partly at least, uh, from the India and the UK markets. Uh, so off the back of that, we have saw uh, huge jumps uh, in flight searches from India, which increased uh, over 600% and 138% on bookings. Uh, for the UK into Dubai, we saw a 200% increase on searches and a 374% uh, week on week increase in bookings. Uh, so huge, huge numbers in both. Uh, and this just shows up for the pent up demand in people trying to uh, travel to Dubai or coming back into Dubai. Uh, and as I said earlier, it's not full open season yet as far as travel goes between those two markets, but it's definitely a huge step in the right direction. And we expect uh, these restrictions, remaining restrictions, to ease further over the next coming months as COVID seems to be easing in both of those markets, as well as uh, dropping off significantly in the UAE, which is, which is again a positive trend for things to come for the rest of the year. Uh, so yeah, going on to uh, the next slide, which is search and booking trends uh, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, so another huge announcement uh, as far as travel goes uh, over the last couple of weeks or beginning of, uh, of beginning of September was the the news about the restrictions in flight between the UAE and Saudi Arabia lifting. Uh, and as you'd expect, that uh, resulted in a huge spark in both search and booking. So if you look at the graph, uh, search bookings increased 548% uh, week on week. Uh, the week the announcement was made in September. And we saw a 3,304% increase in bookings. So huge uh, increases in both search and bookings for Saudis coming into the UAE. Uh, so yeah, again, great signs of uh, when these restrictions are reduced or released, uh, then there, there's a big pent up demand. Uh, one caveat though, is that obviously there wasn't a lot of travel between uh, Saudi Arabia and UAE uh, prior to that. So it's coming off a low base, but definitely encouraging signs and uh, strong momentum coming into that uh, from that market. Uh, being one of the, the main source markets into the UAE and should be very positive moving forward in Q4 and Q1. Uh, moving on to the next slide, which is search and booking trend for hotels uh, week on week uh, over the last, or since April, uh, so over the last uh, five to six months or so. Uh, so as you can see here, there's a lot of bouncing around between uh, 
a couple of peaks and troughs uh, as we went through uh, some holiday seasons and periods, both on search and bookings. Uh, so not too much to conclude from there, apart from what I would like to highlight, as you can see, uh, going on from August onwards, there has been a significant increase, uh, especially in bookings uh, coming into Dubai from, or hotel bookings coming into Dubai from international markets. Uh, and that for the last week was a 20-20% week-on-week increase. So, yeah, again, just shows the positive momentum coming into the markets. Uh, what a big difference uh, lifting of some of the travel restrictions does make. Uh, and we do expect a lot of that to continue uh, going through Q4 and Q1. Uh, so positive signs for the market indeed. So yeah, I thought it would be uh, interesting uh, to look at uh, the search and booking trends for hotels when we do compare domestic against international. Uh, as we know, during the pandemic, Dubai hotels have been supported a lot by a staycation audience. And we've seen some hotels uh, start to actively uh, market to that audience, uh, which was unheard of uh, prior to uh, the COVID pandemic. But slowly but surely, we have seen a, a rise in international visitors coming back into the market as people were gaining confidence in travel and restrictions are eased. Uh, so I thought it would be good to highlight uh, the trend we have seen between domestic and international searches for hotels in Dubai. Uh, so as you can see, there's uh, a steady increase uh, in bookings uh, for the international markets as we go through August. Uh, so that again shows preluding to kind of uh, the earlier slides is that uh, international businesses are definitely, or we are seeing international businesses definitely coming back into Dubai. Uh, and although uh, staycation is still quite a strong part of, of, for, of strong market for hotels, uh, at least in the short term, we do see the demand uh, being driven by international businesses uh, due to a um, lot of mixed uh, reasons for that uh, would be obviously one of the expo. There's a lot of trade shows uh, coming back to Dubai at the moment. Uh, we're going into peak holiday season, et cetera, uh, especially from Europe and those big European markets. Uh, they're going into winter, so traditionally they like to, to come over to Dubai uh, and the UAE uh, for that period to, to kind of get some winter sun. Uh, so, yeah, good to see that reflected in these numbers. Uh, and, yeah, we, we expect that to continue moving forward too. So, so yeah, moving on to top origins for hotels. Uh, as we can see here, uh, there's been a lot of noise over the last, uh, I would say, year or so about our main feeder markets uh, coming to Dubai. Uh, so I thought it would be interesting to see what that kind of looks like uh, more holistically when we compare 2019 to 2021. As discussed earlier, we did see a big increase uh, in staycations. Uh, so you can see that uh, the majority or the highest ranked uh, country on here is actually UAE to UAE. Uh, so that's for search and bookings. Uh, so you can see that definitely did increase from 2019 to 2021. Uh, and what is interesting to see is that the biggest trend uh, we have seen is that uh, from from regions closer to the UAE, so uh, your Saudis, your GCC countries like Saudi, Kuwait and Oman, uh, they have kind of dropped off uh, the list when we do look at this over the, throughout 2021. Uh, and that was due to kind of very strong travel restrictions put in place in those countries where they weren't allowing citizens to, to travel uh, and likewise not to travel into those countries either. Uh, but yeah, we do expect uh, those countries to, to bounce back and, and now see some strong lift in GCC travel too, uh, especially from the likes of Oman and Saudi, which were the main markets uh, in the region coming into the UAE. So it's encouraging to see uh, that happening again when we look at the 2019 compared to 2021 countries. Uh, one noticeable exception off the top 10 list was Australia. Uh, so they are no longer in the top uh, 10. Uh, I think we all know the reasons for that. Uh, they've had very 
strict uh, travel protocol put in place by the Australian government. So it's difficult for very difficult people to travel there. Uh, but what is interesting too, is we have seen markets like Russia come in and uh, in Switzerland, for example, uh, move up into the list of top countries in 2021 from a booking point of view. Uh, so there's lots of different nuances on there. Uh, what I would expect though is, uh, as we move into 2022, barring any unforeseen uh, increases in COVID again, I would expect those markets to definitely look very similar to what 2019 looked like uh, as, as markets do start to stabilize and travel gets back to normal. And then uh, moving on to the lead time, uh, we are seeing for people uh, searching and booking hotels as well as duration of stays for the hotels. Uh, there's not too much difference when we do look at the searches uh, between 2019 and 2021. So that's uh, search to book lead time. But when it comes to the actual bookings, uh, we are seeing people book uh, in a shorter duration. So when we look at the typical zero to three day uh, window in 2019, that was at 43%. Uh, whereas in uh, 2021, uh, that equates to 49%. So we are seeing that window shorten uh, between when people are looking to hotels and booking hotels. So, so that is a, a little nuance that we are seeing at the moment. And I think that plays into the narrative uh, currently at play in the market uh, when people are tending to book with short lead times uh, for hotels specifically, at least and definitely when we look at staycations, that's, that's 100% the case. Uh, when we are looking, however, though, at how long people are staying in hotels, uh, I think that's a very interesting trend too. So uh, we are seeing that uh, people are booking for longer. Uh, so when they do book hotel stays, uh, instead of booking for, for example, zero to one, two to three days, uh, we, are, we are seeing now people booking for uh, longer periods of time for four plus days. So when you look at that in 2021, uh, that equates to 53% of total bookings. Uh, so it's a lot more than it was in 2019. Uh, and some reasons for that could potentially be that we haven't seen the, the bounce back in business or corporate travel at the moment. So those are typically your one, two, three day stays when people are coming in for business and then flying out. So that part of the market isn't necessarily there. And then people are, when they are coming into Dubai, for example, uh, they do tend to stay longer now, especially uh, international travelers. So yeah, that's something we do continue to see. And we will continue to monitor this obviously throughout the rest of the year and going into 2022. Uh, but those are a snapshot of some of the trends uh, we are seeing in the market at the moment. So that is it from me.